Hey guys, this is Spartacus here and welcome back to another video. Before we begin the main topic of today's video, I just want to quickly tell you that I am creating a new series here on this channel that is fun facts about Call of Duty and it is a YouTube short series. So if you're someone who is subscribed to my channel and you have post notifications turned on, there's a good chance you're not being notified every time I upload a YouTube short. And so when I do upload YouTube shorts, some of them are going to be fun facts about Call of Duty, which is some sort of little series I want to do here on the channel and I've only made one video so far in this series so make sure you guys go ahead and check that video out but I do plan on making more videos really soon so make sure you guys are subscribed and you are manually checking my YouTube upload feed so that way you can always be on top of whenever this new series video goes live also don't forget to follow me on Twitter I kind of need more followers on there to stay up to date on things I'm doing outside of my YouTube videos just so you guys are aware of what things our guests are going on in my real life so if you want to follow me on Twitter, you are more than welcome to. There's always a link in the description. I'll take you to my Twitter page. But nonetheless, let's get started with today's main video, which of course is going to be about the Grav Assault Rifle here in Black Ops Cold War. This of course is a new weapon added to Season 6, and it's a very controversial weapon in a way because it is the Galil. You know, we all love the Galil from the previous Black Ops games, but this one is pretty weak, I'm going to be honest with you. And so, I've been using it quite a bit recently, and so I thought I would make a best class setup video kind of explaining on how to use this gun the best way because it is a pretty difficult gun to actually use because of the high recoil on it and keep in mind this is for Black Ops Cold Wars multiplayer not Warzone. I am probably not going to test this out in Warzone but if for some reason I find a way to use it really well in Warzone then I might make a separate video creating a best class setup video uh, later on or something but this video is just for Black Ops Cold Wars multiplayer focusing on the Grav Assault Rifle and it is a difficult one to actually use and so I think I figured out a good attachment setup that I think you guys will find very beneficial and of course we'll be going over the lethals, tacticals, field upgrades, and perks that will go along with it. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and see what attachments I use on this thing. Okay you guys, so this is the class that I use for the grav. We'll get into the attachments here in a second, but obviously the grav as your primary weapon. The secondary weapon is really up to you. I personally prefer using a shotgun because you know when you're in those close quarter situations, you know shotguns can be really, really helpful and so I'm using the iron hide right now just because it's also a new gun in the game but more effective shotguns like the street sweeper gallo or Hauer are honestly a little bit better to use the iron hide is really only good if you're aiming down sights with it so if you're hip firing with it the chance you're gonna get a one shot kill is not very good and so I highly recommend just probably using any other shotgun but I'm just using it just because you know it's a new gun and I want to get it gold but the tactical I'm using is stim shots of course because I hate when I have to like wait for my play to actually heal itself and stim shots very useful in sticky situations where you have to rush enemy players and be able to actually heal a lot quicker so that way you can actually win gunfights the lethal is a tomahawk i sometimes switch this out with a centex or a c4 and so the tomahawk's been pretty good for actually taking people out kind of at longer ranges and i've just been pretty accurate with it overall but uh centex and c4 are probably uh, better off for those of you who aren't very good with the tomahawk and so anyway tomahawk is just something i prefer to use right now and then the trophy system as the field upgrade because I love playing the objective game modes. And then the perks, we have Flak Jacket, Quartermaster, and Ninja. Now, Quartermaster, you could use this. However, uh, sometimes I will switch it out with Assassin or maybe Scavenger, but I've realized that I can just use those ammo boxes around the map to actually get more ammo, so Scavenger hasn't really been too much of a use to me. Uh, however, uh, recharging equipment over time is pretty nice as well because I've been able to figure out how to stay alive longer for some reason. I don't know what's been going on, you guys, but this class setup has been really kind to me when playing multiplayer matches that I've been pretty much getting a VTOL every single match and so either way I just decided to use Quartermaster because why not have my equipment recharge and then of course Gunfighter is going to be our wild card because I really do think the Grav performs uh, I, I, I think you're going to get the most out of the gun if you can maximize the most attachments out of it which is why I'm using Gunfighter so let's go ahead and look at the attachments here I'm using Micro LED as the sight on here the iron sights are okay I don't really like them too much and so I think having a 1.25 uh, magnifying glass as like your I guess I guess sight for this gun I think will be pretty helpful and so that's why I'm using the microflex LED you know it's a pretty standard one that we see in Call of Duty games and I'm just used to it overall this one right here the SOCOM eliminator this gives you 15 or excuse me 17 percent uh, better vertical recoil because this thing has a lot of vertical recoil and this reduces it down a ton obviously the downsides is you're not going to have shoot movement speed and you're going to have more horizontal recoil but 
that horizontal recoil is going to be made up with future attachments we'll just go over right now so like this one right here this 22.1 inch barrel uh, this of course gives you better damage range better bullet velocity and better vehicle damage the vehicle damage I don't really care too much I don't really shoot at score streaks too much uh, but the effective damage range and bullet velocity just that little extra boost there does go a long way and so I think having it as in one attachment can be really useful also obviously there's a little bit of downsides there there's even more horizontal recoil but we'll go over how we're making up for that in a second and then, of course, we have the body attachment here, which I'm going with the 5 milliwatt with laser here. The, it just gives you better hip fire. I, this is pretty much the one I always use. I don't really feel like reveal distance is that useful. Sometimes it can be. I will admit, I reveal distance and it can be pretty good, but having maximizing the best hip fire possible is just the way to go. That's usually to make up for like another attachment that reduces our hip fire, which we'll go over here in a second, but it only it's like negative 8% aim down sides, which isn't too detrimental, so I think it's totally worth having it on your gun. And then I'm using the field agent grip. I usually use this grip a lot on uh, weapons that have high recoils uh, to it or like a lot of kick to it and so this gun is like one of those guns that has a lot of recoil and kick and so it gives you that vertical recoil and horizontal recoil control and so making the gun a lot more accurate every time you shoot it and obviously the shoot movement speed is reduced a ton with this attachment but you're still going to be on target a lot more than you usually are by reducing that recoil and then the magazine I am going with the RK730 round conversion. Now don't get me wrong I love having magazine attachments where there's a lot of bullets I can pretty much spray and just be able to get multi kills really easily however having this 30 round mag doesn't really guarantee me multi kills too often usually I'll probably just get double kills with one magazine at most for the most part unless of course I'm playing like hardcore mode but this attachment gives you 6% in damage the damage on this gun really isn't that great and so I really need to find a way to actually like increase the damage per bullet and so since even though I'm only having a 30 round mag I am dealing more damage per bullet and that is why I am going with this attachment here and then with the handle we have the airborne pistol grip which is kind of funny because this isn't a pistol but either way this gives you a uh, 90% flinch resistance 30% aim down sight and then you can of course aim while going prone and the, the, really the I guess uh, like downsides to this have a shoot movement speed and sprint to fire time you'll notice that I have a lot of reduced shoot movement speed with this gun uh, but I found it to be pretty helpful Helpful, even though I don't like being I don't like how my character stands still while I'm shooting uh, with this gun you kind of have to and it's been doing pretty well you know I try to make sure that when I'm shooting enemies I'm relatively near cover in case I need to run away and that's also why I run stim shot is because I know I am going to be not moving as fast uh, and so anyway yeah this all around is a great attachment uh, and I don't think that the downsides are too detrimental um, and then of course there's this one the raider stock uh, so this gives you a lot better sprint to fire speed and it also gives you a lot better aim movement speed which is super helpful for me it just feels so nice when this hat when I do that and then the only downside is reduced in hip fire accuracy but we made up with that with kind of the body attachment here and so which of course gives us more even more a better hip fire accuracy and so uh yeah raider stock definitely the way to go and so these are all the attachments i use for the grav and so yeah that's pretty much it you guys that is literally the class setup i have for the grav now that we've been able to go over the best class setup for the grav i'm gonna give out my personal opinion about this gun so honestly this gun is a very difficult weapon to use there's a good reason why it's not that great in warzone Zone. However, in Black Ops Cold War, it's a different story. You know, the guns perform a lot differently in Black Ops Cold War's multiplayer than they do in Warzone, and the Grav is a solid gun to actually use. It's just that you do have to load it up with attachments using that Gunfire Wild card in order to actually make it viable, in my opinion. And really, that magazine attachment increasing that extra damage, I think, really does go a long way. There is actually a barrel that also increases the damage on it. However, it also increases the recoil as well, which is something you definitely don't want with this weapon because it is a very high kick sort of weapon and so either way it is a very solid gun it seems like ever since I've made this critic class I've been able to call in a VTOL every single game averaging over like a 3 KD the gameplay speaks for itself that you guys are watching right now uh, I've just been performing extremely well and maybe skill based matchmaking has just been really kind to me but also the D program map is a very good laid out map and I just been able to traverse it very well and be able to understand it and so I don't know what it is maybe I'm just getting really lucky but uh, using this class I have been able to perform really well and I think having a shotgun as a secondary really helps out in those scenarios but it's like I said the iron hide isn't probably the best shotgun to use as a secondary you're better off using any other one uh, just because hip firing with the iron hide you're gonna get hit markers and you don't really want that with shotguns and so anyway yeah I love this gun 
now after loading this thing up with attachments i've been doing super well and i've really gone quite fond of this gun because i don't really see a lot of people talking about it and i thought i would give it some attention considering it is a new weapon and usually new weapons are pretty good but this one doesn't seem like it's getting a lot of love and so i thought i would give the grav some love you know get some love for the galil you guys it really does need it because it is a solid gun all around as long as you're able to actually create a good class with it so anyway hopefully you guys found this video really helpful and interesting if you did make sure you leave a like and of course subscribe to the channel for more call of duty videos every single day and i shall catch you guys later